In this video you will see different types of discontinuity. A function is continuous at some point A if the curve of the function passes through that point. If the curve is not passing through that point that means that function is discontinuous at the point A if the curve is not passing through that point. That means that if there is a little hole over here or there is a jump or the function does not exist at this point then, then that function will be discontinuous at that point. Now there are different types of discontinuities and the first one is removable discontinuity. For that I'll define some function f of x is equal to x square minus 1 divided by x minus 1 and we have to check the continuity of this function at the point 1. So to check the continuity we have to check two conditions. The first one is that the function must be defined at the point where we have to check the discontinuity. So I will write some point A. The function must be defined at the point A. That means where we have to check the discontinuity. And the second condition is the limit of the function at the point A must exist and must be equal to the value of f of A. So to check the continuity what we have to do we have to find f of a and we have to find the limit if both of these are equal that means the function is continuous otherwise the function is discontinuous. So now let's check the continuity of this function. So first of all I'll find the limit f of x when x is approaching to the point 1. So limit x is approaching to 1 x square minus 1 divided by x minus 1 I just substituted the value of the function now here the direct substitution method fails so what I'll do I'll make the factors of numerator so I get x minus 1 into x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 now here x is approaching to 1 that means x is not equal to 1 in this case. So that means I can cancel these terms. What do I get? x approaches to 1, x plus 1. Now here I can use the direct substitution method. So what do I get? 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Now in this case the limit exists. Now I'll find the other condition which is I have to find f of a and in this case I have to find f of 1 which is equal to 1 square minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1. I just put the value of x in this function so which is equal to 0 over 0 form which is undefined. Now here because both the conditions are not true so that means the function is discontinuous the function is discontinuous at the point x is equal to 1 now if the limit of the function exists at this point and the other condition is not true then that Type, that type of discontinuity is called the removable discontinuity if the limit exists so I'll write it here if limit of the function f exists at the given point let's say I'll write at the point A. then that is called a removable discontinuity now 
Now let's see the second kind of discontinuity and that is jump discontinuity. Let's say we are given the function f of x is equal to 0 when x is less than 0 and 1 when x is greater than or equal to 0. But these types of functions are called piecewise functions. As the function is defined differently at different intervals. So it's a piecewise function. So we'll check the continuity of this function at x is equal to 0. So to check that first I'll find the limit. So to find the limit of these kind of functions we separately find the left hand limit and right hand limit. So first I'll find the left hand limit which is equal to limit of the function f of x when x is approaching to 0 negative. Because left hand limit means x is approaching to 0 from the left side. That means when x is less than the point 0. Now from here when x is less than 0 the function is 0. The value of the function is 0. So it is equal to 0. Now I have to find the right hand limit. That means when x is approaching to 0 from the right side. That is when x is greater than 0. Now from this function again when x is greater than 0. That means this case then the value of the function is 1. Now here the left hand limit is 0 and the right hand limit is 1. These two are not equal. That means the limit of the function at the point 0 does not exist. So the function is not continuous because if one of these conditions doesn't hold the function is discontinuous. So the function f is discontinuous at the point 0. And if the limit of the function does not exist then that is called the jump discontinuity. So if I try to make the graph of this function, this is 1, 0, this is 1, 1, 2. Now if I draw this function, when x is less than 0, the function is 0, that means this line, when x is less than 0. And when x is greater than or equal to 0, the value of the function is 1 at all the points when x is greater than or equal to 0, that means this. Now here you see there is a jump at this point 0. So if the limit does not exist that means that is called a jump discontinuity. Also if I draw the graph of this function this is 1, this is 2, 1, 2, y axis, x axis. Now the graph of this function looks like this. Now here the limit exists that means from the both from both the sides near 1 the function is approaching to same value but the function is not defined at this point itself. So that means this is a removable discontinuity. When there is a hole that kind of discontinuity is called removable discontinuity and if the limit does not exist because from left side when x is approaching to 0 from the left side the function is approaching to 0 and when x is approaching to 0 from right side the function is approaching to 1 here. So that means there is a jump in this discontinuity. So I'll write if limit of f does not exist at the point a. A is any point where we have to check the continuity. Then it's called jump this 
continuity. Now here, the function exists at the point zero where we have to check the discontinuity. I'll write it f of zero. That means here the first condition holds. f of zero is equal to one. But as both the conditions are not true, so function is discontinuous. And if the lim and if limit does not exist, that is called jump discontinuity. The third kind of discontinuity is infinite discontinuity. Infinite discontinuity. Let's say we are given the function f of x equals to 1 by x and we have to check the continuity of this function at the point 0. So first we'll find the limit. So when x is approaching to 0 from the left side, this function, that means limit x approaches to 0, negative 1 by x. And this function is approaching to negative infinity as when x is approaching to 0 from the left side x will be less than 0 and if x is negative 1 by x will also be negative and when x is approaching to 0 from the right side then x will be positive and if x is positive, then 1 by x is positive, then 1 by x will approach to positive infinity. So from here we conclude that limit does not exist. Therefore, limit when x is approaching to 0, f of x does not exist. Now we'll check the other condition, which is we have to find f of 0 where we have to check the continuity. We have to find the value of the function at that point. That means 1 over 0, which is again not defined. Not defined. So when both the conditions are not true, then that type of discontinuity is called infinite discontinuity. I'll write when both conditions are not true then the discontinuity is of infinite discontinuity. So if I make the graph of this function this is x-axis this is y-axis so it looks like this this is negative x-axis this is negative y-axis this is the point zero so from here you see when x is approaching to zero from the left side the function is approaching to negative infinity when x is approaching to 0 from the right side, the function is approaching to positive infinity. And the function itself at this point is not defined. So that means this type of discontinuity is called infinite discontinuity.